uh, with Roy and uh, Lucario. So we have one that's kind of like uh, Zoner, kind of going to be throwing out those things. And then Roy, who's just like that rushdown character, he's going to try and like get in best he can. So um, I'm, I'm going to predict some uh, back and forth in this set. Yeah, Aura definitely making a solid name for himself here, but we'll see if Nazul fresh off a seventh place finish it before. Now he's guaranteed at least fifth. <laughs> we'll see how high he can get that number to go as he's climbing up the ranks here in Columbus. Roy. Going with the purple Roy, always interesting because the purple Roy does not match the red scarf in any way whatsoever. So, I mean, definitely not a good fashion choice. It complements the... So there's, something, there's something. Are purple and red complementary colors? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, I like took one art class in my life <laughs> and it was in seventh grade. I'm trying to picture the color wheel right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't look. I, 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 like I said, I took one art class in seventh grade, man. I don't know anything about the color wheel. Uh, but speaking of wheels, what is a wheel but a big sphere? And here comes the Aura Sphere of Aura rising in as he's getting ready to charge that up. It's a jab connection. He's gonna actually holding off oh. on the Aura Sphere right now as it's finally coming out for the first time. Is he able to just rise in and browbeat that Roy for a minute? Yeah, as soon as um, Aura gets any kind of spacing, he's going to be throwing out that Aura Sphere. Definitely a dangerous position for Aura to be running into like that, because Oreo, or excuse me, Nazul has a lot of quick, uh, quick strikes with that hilt of that sword. But Aura fearless early on. And getting a lot out of it. Oh my goodness. And so he just pushes him deep into the night. <laughs> but resolute Nazul staying strong. Has to get something mounted offensively, though. Oh, and, goodness. Oh, talk about offensive. Oh, but rising back with that Aura Sphere. And now Nazul at 133. A dangerous spot, to be sure. A down smash. Really good stuff. <laughs> excessively shielded, and he's able to knock him deep into the night. Big fourth throw there. Here we go, rising up with that solid nair hit. Now, I don't think Nazul's ready for a lot of things he's seen here. He has to get in and mount something, but Aura's not giving him a chance. Waiting for his moment, but he got caught in the wrong spot. Nazul with a good swipe, but he's able to DI it, Aura is, and stay alive. Yeah, good parry off of that one. Um, Roy's, or, um, yeah, Nazul's making a really good um, effort of actually, like, getting in and uh, really making those connections, but, um, oh, as we can see. Pushes like, he keeps, him like, deep into the night once again, and now a full stock up. My goodness. Oh, and there we go. Able to even things out a little bit and reduce the stock lead to only one. But now here comes Aura pounding away. Yeah, both of them trying to get like the perfect spares. Waiting out his moment here, just trying to find something. Nazul able to successfully land on his back, but he did land. And now just trying to find it, find a chance to get in, but he can't seem to get much. Does get an air, falls up with a fair, catches him on the platform of the jab. Misses on that up B, but nothing coming off a of punish. Aura has Nazul a full stock up, oh. but Nazul cutting into that damage. Not a moment swiping away, Nazul. Nazul with a great side B, just trying to close Holding the gap. Holding on to his last stock there. And he's making ra really good connections. Able to swerve around, hit him with that jab. Almost had something on F smash, but Aura landed just a little bit too short. Oh, great parry, able to get a follow up. Trying to rack up some percent. Can he get this off stage? Nazul has to get this kill. Every percent that Lucario takes makes him stronger until you get that kill. And he does! Oh my goodness. Seamless follow up with that punishing forward tilt. And, and it is anyone's game at this comfortable away. 48, so. Absolutely not too much going. Oh my goodness. But here he goes. Not going. Almost not even to off of that chain. That chance. is disgusting. Not giving Aura a single chance to get anything Oh, going. it's a parry. Parry, parry. We have full charge on that Aura Sphere. It's definitely dangerous. Nothing going on that F smash. He's able to shield it. And now Nazul has complete command. Oh, my gosh. Pa spot dodge into forward tilt. Just poking with these down tilts. Daring Aura to do something. He does with an Aura Sphere. Nothing going off it again. Oh. Catches him in it, but Nazul resolutely able to stay out of oh, the way. Oh, and he catches him in the horse. Okay. He keeps catching him in this horse sphere. If he can <laughs> land off it, it's going to be over for Nazul. Oh, Nazul so close. Has to ride this momentum and finish what he started. Oh, gets the down tilt to the jab. Oh, they're oh. rolling around. He catches him. But uh, down he's smash. Off of that. Froze the screen, but didn't freeze Nazul as he's not done yet. Nazul retreating to center oh. stage. Catches him. Gonna get Has that. him off stage. Oh. Going deep and connects. <laughs> My goodness. Gets that forward air and he's able to close out that stock. My gosh. Great stuff. Following up and connecting. Aura looking a little bit surprised by that one. Nazul, heart racing, went deep and just found that fair. 
That was Great such stuff. a dangerous position because if you let him live at 150% or whatever he was at, that Lucario was super powered. Definitely. He's super ultra charged, and there's just not much you can do in that situation. Everything comes infinitely dangerous. Yeah, ridiculous stuff. So a great job by Nazul to follow up and, and do what he had to do. Here we go. Going into game two. Aura looking to steal his resolve and steal oh back goodness. a little bit of that momentum that Nazul took from him so strongly there in game one. He's able to really get these um, aerials off, just kind of really taking control of the stage. Catches him with the residual flame. <laughs> Turns out if you challenge a literal fireball rising at you, sometimes you may get burned. It's a fact. Waiting on his moment here, able to able to just spot dodge everything. It looks like Nazul has a good command over Aura's movement right now. Aura right, mixes up a little bit. Great short range defensive movement from Nazul, not letting Aura get a long a level of onslaught on him. Just getting around on him pretty solidly here. Tries to catch him oh, with that gets side the forward beat. Smash. Nothing going. Forward smash, able to come right in. Nazul overcommitted a little bit there, and I think he knows it. Now we're seeing a little bit more patience going into the second stock. Yeah, really trying to make that space there so he can get that aura sphere out of there, but um, Nazul's not having it. He's really trying to get in there, and he's making a good job of um, really connecting those aerials, really connecting those ground attacks. But as we're seeing right now, oh my goodness, he hits the forward er, we had some brief connection there from Aura, but a forward tilt from Nazul is able to just find his opportunity and see it all the way through. Good stuff. Not a kill yet, though. And that Nair might do it if he can get a good follow-up. Went for the fair, but saving a jump is Aura, and he's able to get back. Good charge, gets the roll. Almost made a connection there with the Aura Sphere, but, um, oh. Looking for his oh. moment here, coming in. Flips around, get the bear, take care of business. 69% of insurance, though, and counting for Aura as he's trying to equalize things. And a couple jabs, nothing doing. A third jab doesn't connect, but a solid push tool. <laughs> nothing coming off of it as the get up attack is there. Yeah. Really good stuff. Looking for a moment. Not stunned too hard. Gets the jab, turns him around to the F smash. Aura still only at 76% as he's able to live. He does still have this percent lead, and he could do something with it pretty soon. Anyone's game. Looking for a moment, trying to get those. But Aura resolute, waiting things out and then avoiding getting oh too much gosh. damage off these strings. Yeah, Roy's not afraid to go deep out there to try and get that kill. Looking for his opportunity oh. right at center stage. Comes in, catches him with that bear. He's going oh, he's going so oh. deep. Gets him with the up B. Oh, tries to spike that one, but he gets it back on stage. He's charging that Aura Sphere, parries that shit. Parries that. This man has all momentum right now. He is surging. Heart rate is approximately at 448 right now. Oh, shields that out. Looking for his moment here, just trying really to find something here. Going off stage, oh. more fares than the concept of sportsmanship, but he's <laughs> able to run back and get something to it. Here we go, meeting at center stage, Clash of the Titans double jumps above that aura sphere. That would have been curtains. Oh my god. And goodness. that will be well, down to his last stock. Hold on at aura. 160. One big hit and these that's the stock. Has to even oh. this out quickly. This could do it soon. Really good Nair connection there. Wasting things out, rises up with that fair, gets a jab and a Nair, and another fair. This man has complete control of the air right now. Oh, oh he's not able to make the no, Aura make wasn't able to make it back. That onslaught was just a little too much. We saw we saw fair into Nair, into fair, into <laughs> fair, into nothing. Yeah, great he, stuff from Nazul taking a 2-0. You know Nazul had something ready if Aura was able to make it back there. Unfortunately, he wasn't, and we end with Nazul just whipping all over the place on him there. 